introduce you all to a, a special person because she's my co-host on our show, The Street Beat. This is Kelly V. Dolan. Give it up for Kelly. Oh, how are you guys? Is everybody having a good time tonight? Make some noise. All right, you guys. We are having so much fun, and it's all about the kids, right? Right? We're raising the money for the kids. I'm actually on a kids' television show, so if any of you guys have kids, nieces, nephews, grandbabies, whatever, it's called Hip Hop Harry, and it airs Monday through Friday on TLC and Discovery Kids, so please support, okay? And also support the Street Beat. You're going to find it on emusics.com. It's coming out. It isn't up just yet, so plug it into your little phones. And I know you got phones. How many people got phones? E-M-U-Z-I-X. If you can remember that after the drinks, it would be great. Now we got to introduce you to our next performer, which is a personal friend of mine. And I actually met her on the red carpet. I met Kelly on the red carpet. We do celebrity interviews. So sometimes you meet these people and you go, my goodness, these people actually have some substance. Because believe it or not, <laughs> and Kelly isn't one of them. I mean, she has substance. but. <laughs> So we have R.C. Miller coming from us. You'll see her at the Ice House. You'll see her everywhere. Now, R.C. Miller, give a round of applause for R.C. Miller. Uh, Whittier, California. You know, I haven't been over to Whittier in quite a long time. I live in the O.C. now, okay? I've always lived in Los Angeles County. You might recognize me from about five years ago. I used to be the poster girl for Milk Does a Body Good, but I overdid it. Living in the OC, you deal with a lot of, you know, upper crust women. And you look at them, and here it is. I'm Mexican, and I'm moving over to the OC, you know, the blonde, the big boobs. And, and then recently I performed for one of the, you guys ever watched the um, Housewives of Orange County? Okay, you know that show? Recently, I performed at one of the housewives' uh, house, uh, Vicky. You know the bitch? Anyway, she launched her own jean line, okay? Called the Vicky Lynn Jean Line. Like, who gives a crap? Because the thing is, is that you think, okay, OC, LA, what are the price differences? This woman is charging $240 for her jeans. Honey, if you don't make my ass look good, it ain't gonna make yours. So you go over there and everything, okay? And I look at these women, and, and, and it's fun to just sit around and listen to them. You hear one girl, oh my God, I got myself a Brazil. What the hell is up with that? You know, Mexicans have poochies. You know, it's like, well, what are you doing? I, I thought the Bushmaster was supposed to be attractive. Why do I want to go back looking like a baby again? <laughs> then you hear another one of the Orange County housewives talking about butt bleaching. <laughs> what the hell? Ain't nobody going there in the first place. Why do I need my ass bleached? <laughs> so they're talking about all this upkeep and everything, and then there's, oh yeah, I went and got my butt bleached. And I'm like, oh my god, these women really have nothing else better to do. <laughs> so she goes and gets her butt beat. See, the thing with Mexicans, it wouldn't work. You would never hear of a Mexican having their ass bleached. <laughs> you eat a goddamn burrito the first time, your ass is stained all over again. I'm telling you, it's like some of these things are just so useless. And then, can you hear the upper crust Mexican doing? Ay, chingada, is so brown again. Ay. It's like, I, I don't get some of these people. And then another one, oh, I have me a boob job, but my nipples just don't feel the same. It's like, it's like the Jamie Foxx on the... Uh, in living color. Hi. <laughs> Gotta rock your world. Now, I know women here, most probably most women, you've had kids, okay? And when you're pregnant, you go to have children and everything. You go in the hospital. Now, the, the, the curtain is never closed, okay? When I had my daughter, 
<clears throat> I'll tell you, 23 years ago, it wasn't funny. It sucked. I was in a lot of pain. But it's funny now. Because now I think about it, okay? You go in there, you're going into the doctors, you're in the hospital and everything, okay? Well, they had to induce my labor. <clears throat> so I said, oh, all right. Well, here comes this nurse. Her name was Leslie. She says, hi, Mrs. Miller. She says, my name is Leslie. You're just not having contractions. I'm here to roll your nipples. <laughs> I'm like, you're what? I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Why do you need to do that? Is, the, is, the, is there a purpose? You know, I mean, my legs are open. I got all that crap inside my crotch and everything. Like, wait a minute. She goes, <clears throat> yes, you're just not having contractions and we need to stimulate the mother's milk so you can have a contraction. She, kept, she keeps coming closer to me like this. And I'm like, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. When a woman wants to roll your nipples, you better ask questions. So, so I'm like, excuse me, don't you, uh, don't you have like an intern with a large mouth? You know, that'll stimulate me. 